We shall now renovate the KS gas spring model. These instructions also apply for the KS250, KS500, and KS750 gas spring models. Please note, use only original color repair kits when servicing and maintaining the KS gas spring. We'll also be using original color tool kits containing all specialized tools needed to service and maintain the gas spring. You'll also need standard workshop tools that are not included in the tool kit. More information on the tools required can be found in our service instructions booklet. To avoid damage to the gas spring, soft jaws should always be used when fixing the gas spring in the vise. Check the gas spring model against the repair kit number to ensure the correct repair kit is used. Begin by discharging the nitrogen gas pressure. Use an Allen key to remove the protective plug. The special valve tool has two functions. One is to open and discharge the gas pressure. The other is to remove or install the valve itself. Carefully, open the gas valve with the valve tool and relieve the gas pressure. For safety reasons, never attempt to remove the valve completely until the gas pressure has fully discharged. With the valve tool still in place to keep the valve open, Push in the end of the piston rod to ensure all gas pressure has been discharged. Now, use the opposite end of the valve tool to unscrew the valve. Remove the valve using the needle nose pliers from the tool kit. Knock the guide down into the tube using the appropriate mounting sleeve thus exposing the lock ring. Carefully remove the dirt cover. Use the special lock ring tool to remove the lock ring. Grip as close as possible to the opening of the lock ring and lift straight up. Be careful as the lock ring will tend to fly out of the tube. Discard the used protective plug, dirt cover, valve, and lock ring. New ones are provided in the repair kit. To disassemble the piston rod assembly from the tube, first thread the T-handle into the top of the piston rod. The piston rod and guide sleeve may now be removed by pulling straight up. Remove the guide from the piston rod. Allow the oil to drain from the tube. The tube and piston rod are to be reused and must be cleaned thoroughly. Clean the components carefully using a degreasing liquid. Dry using compressed air. Examine the components for scratches or damage that can lead to gas leakage. Pay particular attention to sealing surfaces inside the tube and on the piston rod. Open the repair kit and check the contents against the list contained in the service instructions. Now it's time to assemble the gas spring. Secure the tube in a vise fitted with soft jaws. Lubricate the upper portion of the tube. Fill the gas spring with the correct amount of oil as indicated in the service instructions. Make sure to lubricate all seals. Fit the guide to the piston rod, making sure the piston rod scraper faces upwards. If you're unsure, 
check the service instructions before fitting the guide. Place the piston rod assembly in the tube and push down. Tap the guide into the tube using the appropriate mounting sleeve. Position one of the open ends of the lock ring in the groove and press the lock ring in by hand or using a plastic mallet. Screw in the T-handle and pull out the piston rod assembly so that the guide sits flush with the tube's upper surface. If the guide does not sit flush with the tube's upper surface, it has been assembled upside down. Mount the new valve and use the valve tool to screw in finger tight. Before charging the gas spring, make sure you have the correct gas. Use only nitrogen in two gas. Use of other gas can be dangerous. Always use a pressure regulator connected to the nitrogen gas bottle. Make sure the shutoff valve is closed. Ensure the sealing washer is in place and undamaged. Choose the appropriate adapter, affix and tighten. Open the gas bottle valve and check the pressure gauge on the left to ensure the bottle has enough pressure. Adjust the pressure regulator to the correct level for the gas spring. Make sure the gas spring's max pressure is not exceeded. Max pressure is always stamped on the side of the tube. Mount the charging armature to the gas spring. Check that the evacuation valve is closed. Slowly open the shutoff valve and wait until the pressure gauge needle stops rising. This is the preset charging pressure. Close the shutoff valve. Open the evacuation valve to dissipate pressure in the armature. The charging armature can now be safely disassembled. Affix the protective plug and tighten. It's important to do this as the protective plug has a sealing function. Finally, mount the dirt cover. The gas spring is now ready for use.